Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a $1,000 cable for about $30. Well, I made some cables already, so you can have a look how they look like. They are made of uh, one dump low, low capacitance cable, which is uh, really high roll off so you shouldn't have problems with high frequencies and with long runs it's a uh, silver plated copper and it's ultra high quality and the connectors are Furutec copy RCA's oh, you can twist them so it's uh, perfect for any gear because I find that this uh, cheap RCA is really damaging uh, the sockets. Uh, you know what I don't like on uh, high end manufacturers who are making cables or highly oil priced. I absolutely hate it. And there's so much pseudo science behind it and uh, they never tell you what's really in that cable and uh, specification and these uh, pro manufacturers uh, always tell you exactly what, what's uh, the properties of the cables and uh, the, the pros never take the bullshit because uh, the consumer market always selling the fairies, the fairy tales and so I definitely urge you to watch uh, Dave Jones video of EU blog about, uh, about audio fool bullshit well uh, Let's don't waste any time and let's get to it. So yeah, let's make those cables. So it's really easy. You will see it yourself or you can make it yourself. It's just a dead easy really. So first thing what you wanna do, you wanna take a cable and uh, you align the line, the ends together and then you took it and we have a half and you snap it exactly in the middle with the pliers or whatever you have. But so I already, oh, this is already pre-cut. And then uh, uh, you took those connectors apart as much as you can, and uh, you measure the length of required. So it's about maybe like that. cables now with these connectors the construction is allow it to bend it uh, inwards like that well, obviously if it's uh, already this one then I twist it and I dip it in Silver solder in it. Always keep the tip really clean. And keep it on as short as you can. Obviously. You don't want to forget one main thing because I, I forget I forgot it so many times. I always make sure it's on. So first this one, and then this one that way. And I push it in.
and it fits perfectly in there. And I have rice ready, it's really handy. And this is rice for, for salt, well, not for saltering, but for, for drilling. But it's so found it, it's, it's really handy. So I'll tie it a little bit. Let's see, I need to solder these first. So I already pre-solder -pre it, then again, keep the tip ready. Now I set the temperature for 480 degrees, so it's nice and hot. I always try to keep it as short as I can because then you start burning soil there and, and it's just wrong. So now I apply solder inside it. That's it. It's just a fair amount. And you see that it's, it's uh, actually fairly nice connection. I was just check it if it's all right. Seem to be all fine. And then just screw this on. Oh yeah, well, before I, I forgot, in this one you need to put a screw in it this way. It's just really the uh, construction of uh, the RCA connector, that's all. So you can screw it in there. That one goes over and then And these you put these end on it. And another screw here. I would like to know that these RCA connectors are not are not professional. Uh, for example, the Neutric Neutric Pro connectors are professional, and they really easy to work with same as these ones and they have one really good feature or especially professionals will use and that's um, the cold wire the cold will will touch the connector before the hot one so it's really good in professional area but see obviously you're not gonna use it and then that's it and obviously I, I take a a little bit of petrol and uh, clean it so it's nice and clean it's not mucky and there you go I think they they look really really nice and in the end uh, you end up with, uh, with something like this and you twist it and it's really good connection and uh, like that they look amazing I've seen them actually on a high fire big one. The guy is selling them for 150 pounds, which may be about 200 something dollars. And like that, you can make them for literally just peanuts. And you get yourself about thousand dollars worth of sounding cable with professional properties and really great looking and really great sounding. I was comparing it to. Uh, other cables um, and uh, these sound pretty amazing they really open and they are a little bit on the bright side uh, in audiophile techno terminology and uh, in the end you want to measure continuity with ohm meter so that one's all right
and then you want to make sure that uh, there's not short circuit there is but from call to hot there's no continuity and this is our thousand dollar cable for thirty dollars this is a uh, Furutec copy RC connectors they are twisting so they don't damage a RCA socket when you plug it in or plug it out but once you tight it then it will hold the connection really hard anyway I'll show you what's the main difference between those new trick professional and these connectors plug it in and then once you reach the end just twist it like that and you get a really tight connection so now there's no way you can actually unplug it now brilliant when you have some amplifiers where the space is a little bit tighter you don't need to worry about it because usually or most of the time the ground is connected anyway inside the amplifier so if you touch them like that it doesn't really matter at all now I'll show you those Neutric connectors so this is the Neutric Pro uh, the main difference is that uh, they have a spring and cold pin or cold connector so when you plug it in before you actually touch the hot wire you touch the ground so you prevent a damage of your amplifiers when you do like online uh, connecting when, when, when the device is, is running but I, I find them like one of the best uh, connectors ever on market and I really like them they're getting quite expensive now but they are way better than anything cheap for example Nordos is using them in, on their Heimdall series well obviously they, it doesn't say Neotrek but it's just you know, their own brand but uh, they're using them on cables for I don't know thousand pounds or whatever so I'll show you how to plug it it's just brilliant really and they are they are so good that they don't damage uh, your amplifier or anything because they have this construction and that's it and I really like them and you plug it up plug it off like that compared to some other connectors which don't have any any twisting any spring loading nothing well, these are uh, switchcraft connectors they are really good but um, I, I bought them because I needed a 90 degrees connectors but these kind of connectors that are, are much cheaper my version of a neutri green or something I, I have problem that they really do tend to scratch these cold connector on, on a socket The trouble is that the tension is sometimes too too low or too high, and they will just scratch it. But I'm not saying these switchcraft are really good anyway. So that's it for this video. I thank you for watching, and I see you next time. Bye bye.